Hello everyone, welcome to SOT channel. We are here today to check out this Gigabyte M22U, one of the best 4K 134Hz 28-inch monitor, and it's definitely bang for the buck. I have this monitor for quite a while, and I would like to tell you about my user experience, why I like this monitor, tell you a few words about this one and comparison with M32U. Let's talk about the design first. The front face design has a thin bezels and a small gigabyte logo on the bottom of the monitor. Now you could see the monitor dimensions, in case you want to understand would it fit on your desk. The stand is made out of plastic, but it has a metal base inside. The monitor is not rock solid on the desk, but it stands pretty well. The leg is not taking a lot of space, this would be great if you have a small desk. The height adjustment is up to 13 cm or 5 inches. Worth mentioning, the lowest position is almost on the table, which I really like. The tilt changing is 20 degrees up and 5 degrees down. 5 degrees down tilt is amazing for gaming. There is a one caveat in this monitor. It doesn't have any swivel, so you would not have any rotation ability and this might be a bit of a problem if you want to use two of them or use this one as a second monitor. Also, on the back, we could see a KVM switch that allows you to easily swap between inputs like MacBook and Xbox in my case. The monitor is packed with two speakers, 3 watt each. I wouldn't say they are great, but this is at least something. So this means if you buy a new monitor, you don't need to spend some money on audio immediately. This is always great to have some speakers in monitor, but they doesn't sound really good. This monitor is very similar to Gigabyte M32U I also have. I want to shoot a comparison video on two of these monitors. And if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel. As for connectivity and ports, well, we got two HDMI 2.1 ports, which are both capable of 4K 134Hz. And 120Hz is supported for Xbox and PS5. We also have a display port which is capable of 4K 134Hz and USB Type-C with the same alt mode capabilities and 50W charging which is absolutely enough for my MacBook Air on M1 Silicon. Yes, it has 4K and 134Hz via USB Type-C. The port is also upstream so you can use it as your monitor USB hub. There is one more upstream port USB-B. We also have three USB 3.0 USB-A ports and an audio jack. Let us talk about picture quality. As I told you in a review of M32U, I prefer IPS panels, because they have great colors and better viewing angels than VA panels. The monitor has 94% DCI-P3 coverage, which gives it solid colors that pop. It also is flicker free, which is great. My eyes never hurt even after a whole day of gaming on this monitor. Max brightness of the monitor is 300 nits, which is pretty enough even for a bright day game. The response time of the monitor is 1 millisecond, which is an industry standard nowadays for any gaming monitor. This monitor is an HDR400 compatible, and actually HDR content looks very not very good but decent on this monitor. If we talk about gaming not like Hollywood movies, it would be really good to have this. The screen is glossy and had a great anti-glare coating. When it comes to gaming performance on PS5 or Xbox, like in my case, I think this monitor is absolutely a beast. Cause the size is 28 inches, it has IPS panel with great colors. And if you play FPS games, or any intensive shooters, this would be absolutely great. The 28 inch, the 20, the 20 inches, the 28 inches size is absolutely perfect for any intense games or any FPS shooter games, cause you could have all the screen estate, and your hands could still lay on the table and resting while you play on the controller, for example. If you are more into open world games, I would suggest you to take a look on M32. By the way, I have a review about this monitor on my channel. There is also a built-in FPS mode that could provide you with a feature like a crosshair. You could also set up up to three custom profiles to tune your picture for three games, for example. 
I would really think about the distance between you and the monitor. So I think the best for this size monitor would be around 75 centimeters or it's roughly 30 inches. So this would be absolutely great if you do not have a big desk or the space between you and the desk is relatively small. As for productivity, this monitor is great, but only if you do not have a lot of creative workloads. Because as for me, while I'm filming video and editing them, this size is quite a bit too small. Yeah, it's definitely better than my MacBook 13-inch display, but it's quite small. And the text clarity is absolutely insane on this one. I had a tough choice choosing between 32 inches and 28 inches, as some of you might have. Few things to consider. If you play FPS games or involved in any kind of competitive gaming, it's no brainer, go with 28 inches. If you have a limited space on your desk, yeah, you might also want to go with 28 inches, because 32 inch is quite a bit bulky. For productivity, it really more depends on your workflow and the budget. If your workflow is not that creative and you don't need a plenty of real estate, go with 28 inches and save buck. But if you do any kind of creative work like editing or maybe photos, you should go with 32 inches. And the conclusion is easy, this monitor is definitely worth it. It's nice to see you here. Check the review on M32U if you couldn't decide what size works better for you. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel.